Hey there, and welcome to You Can Uke, where each week I'm releasing new song tutorials so that you can learn how to play the ukulele with success. So if you don't want to miss out, then hit that subscribe button, like this video, and get ready to play Cups by Anna Kendrick. Now before we can start playing this song, we first need to make sure that our ukulele is in the standard tuning of G, C, E, A. By the way, if you need help tuning your ukulele, then make sure that you check out my online ukulele tuner video. Next, there's five chords that we need to know in order to play this song, and those chords are C major, F major, G major, A minor, and D minor. If you know how to play those five chords, then great job. Feel free to skip ahead to a later portion of this lesson. So our first chord for this song is C major. To play that, take your third finger and press down on the first string of the third fret. This is C major. The second chord we're going to learn to play is F major. To play that, take your first finger, press down on the second string of the first fret, then take your second finger and press down on the fourth string of the second fret. This is F major. The next chord we're going to learn to play is G major. To play that, take your first finger, press down on the third string of the second fret, take your second finger, press down on the first string of the second fret, and then take your third finger and press down on the second string of the third fret. This is G major. The next chord is A minor. To play that, just take your second finger and press down on the fourth string of the second fret. This is A minor. And our last chord is going to be D minor. To play that, take your first finger, press down on the second string of the first fret, take your second finger, press down on the fourth string of the second fret, and then take your third finger and press down on the third string of the second fret. This is D minor. Now we're going to learn the strumming pattern for this song. It's pretty simple. It's just going to be down up, down up, down up, down up. Also note that you're going to accent and play harder on every other downstrom, starting with the second and fourth downstrom. So it's going to sound something like this. Down up, 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 down up strong, down up strong, down up strong, down up strong. Now let's play that string pattern on the C major chord. Down up, 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 down up strong, down up strong, down up strong, down up strong. Now we're going to learn the chord progressions for this song, and we're going to break it up into three sections. The first section is going to be for the intro and the instrumental, the second section is going to be for the verses, and the third section is going to be for the choruses. So the first section, which we said was going to be for the intro and the instrumental, is just going to be a C major chord for 16 beats. Now since we already demonstrated this chord progression when we were learning the strumming pattern, let's move on to the second section, which again is for the verses. And that chord progression for the verse is going to be C major for 8 beats, F major for 4 beats, C major for 4 beats, A minor for 2 beats, G major for 2 beats, F major for 4 beats, D minor for 2 beats, G major for 2 beats, and then C major for 4 beats. Let's play through that chord progression now by ringing out each chord. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Let's play through that chord progression now with the strumming pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. Now the third section of the chord progression, which is for the choruses, is going to be A minor for four beats, F major for four beats, A minor for four beats, G major for four beats. F major for two beats, C major for two beats, G major for two beats, A minor for two beats, D minor for two beats, G major for two beats, and C major for four beats. Let's play through that chord progression now by ringing out each chord. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, one, two. One, two. Now that we know our chords, the string pattern, and the chord progressions, let's put it all together with the lyrics and play through cups. I got my ticket for the long way round, two bottles of whiskey for the way, and I sure would like some sweet company, and I'm leaving tomorrow, what you say, when I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair, you're gonna miss me everywhere, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. 
And at the end of that song, you can just ring out the last C of the chorus. Now, if you want to play through the rest of the song, then go down to my description box below and click on the link to access the chord chart. And that's how you play Cups by Anna Kendrick. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it brings you success in learning how to play the ukulele. Don't forget to subscribe and keep practicing and keep playing because you can uke.